One of the world's most popular sweeteners is a, quote, possible carcinogen, but it remains safe to consume at already agreed levels. That's according to two groups linked to the World Health Organization, who made the rulings on Friday. Video released by the WHO showed experts from the panels discussing the findings in a news conference on Wednesday. So the working group classified aspartame as possibly carcinogenic to humans, that is group 2B, based on limited evidence for cancer in humans. Aspartame is one of the world's most popular sweeteners. It's used in products from Coca-Cola diet sodas to Mars extra chewing gum. The ruling puts aspartame in the same category as aloe vera extract and traditional Asian pickled vegetables. While the findings may cause some alarm, WHO Head of Nutrition Francesco Branca played down the likelihood of aspartame sweetened products actually causing cancer. The conclusion of this assessment are not indicating that consuming product container sweeteners uh, automatically lead to a health impact. Um, having an acceptable daily intake, it means it is acceptable to consume a certain amount of aspartame without having appreciable health effects. This amount is uh, pretty large. Several scientists not associated with the review said the evidence linking aspartame to cancer is weak. Food and beverage industry associations said the decisions showed aspartame was safe and a good option for people wanting to reduce sugar in their diets. But others have said the findings should lead to changes, including the US Center for Science in the Public Interest, the CSPI, and one of its top scientists, Dr. Thomas Galligan. This is something that industry consumers and regulators really need to take notice of. This is very concerning. CSPI would like to see industry begin to reformulate their products to use safer alternatives and help consumers avoid and minimize their exposure to aspartame. Similarly, policymakers can also take this very important and authoritative evaluation under consideration and start taking steps to protect consumers as well. Ahead of the announcement, some doctors expressed concern that diet soda consumers could now switch to caloric, sugary drinks Therese Bevers from the University of Texas MD Anderson Cancer Center in Houston told Reuters, quote, the possibility of weight gain and obesity is a much bigger problem and bigger risk factor than aspartame could ever be. But the WHO and others have stressed that consumers faced with the decision between a sugar drink and one with sweeteners should actually consider a third option, drink water instead.